I started this YouTube channel when I was 14 years old. I'm now 19 and I'm leaving my family, my friends and my house all behind to start the life on my own, to live alone for the very first time. I'm beginning a whole new chapter of my life, an independent one. The thing is, I'm not quite sure how to feel about it. I moved around a lot as a kid. I actually lived in three different continents in my childhood. Europe, Africa, and Asia. This is now a view from inside the harem. This is obeyed. But for the last eight years, I've been living in Saudi, and it's ended up being the place that I call home and my favorite place that I've ever lived. But now I'm going to university, so it's now become the place that I have to leave. The thing is, after all that moving from being born in the UK to then going to Medina, Riyadh, Egypt, back to the UK and then finally to Jeddah in Saudi, you'd think I'd be used to changing scenes, to moving houses, to leaving places. Bye. 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 The thing is that this time, it feels different. It is different. <laughs> okay, okay, bye, bye granddad. Bye, dad. Bye. 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 Take Enjoy. Care. Right? Bye. Thank you. That all felt like one section, one part of my life, those 18 years. But now this feels like a new section, the start of the rest of my life, rather than just a continuation of what I was already in. These 18 years, this section that I'm talking about, I'm very grateful for how it's been, for how I've lived my life so far. Saudi's been an amazing place to grow up in, as was Egypt and all the other places that I've been. And I'm super grateful to have lived on this side of the world and experienced everything that there is to experience here, because there's so much variety. From sand, to sea, to mountains, to greenery, to beaches, to desert. And if I could have it any other way, I don't think I would. I'm happy with how it's gone so far, alhamdulillah. I've left houses before, I've left friends, but I've never left my family. And I've never not had the people closest to me, around me to support me always. I'm basically going into a new thing now where I can only rely on two things. A lot, of course, and then just myself. But of course, I guess it's, it's just all part of growing up, isn't it? It's weird, as a kid, when I saw these teenagers and these people going to university and leaving home, they all seem so big to me, like bigger than I could ever be. But that's the strange thing, isn't it? As, as life keeps going by and time keeps flowing on, that larger than life just becomes life. Ready to leave you, sir? I guess so. I'm now that person that I looked up at. I w I'm now that 19 year old that all the kids are gonna look at and I'm leaving home, I'm starting a life on my own, I'm going to university. It's strange how that happens. I, 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 it's almost like I didn't expect to get here, but I'm, now I'm here and...
Good to be in a bed? Yeah, they're locked out. <laughs> oh yeah, they're locked the out. No, we have to open it for them. Come on, guys. I don't think I feel like an adult. Maybe I do, but it doesn't feel how I expected it to. I guess I thought it would be like a moment where I'd be like, okay, that's it. I'm an adult now, I'm grown. But that never really came. And I guess that's just not how life works. How exhilarating. Wow, hot. That's all I need, just small. Cold. Small pine. Measuring jug, can opener, spatula, wooden spoon. I don't, do I need that many you knives? That's quite a lot. No, I don't think I feel like an adult, or at least adulthood doesn't feel like I expected it to feel. I have moved a lot, but I don't know, I'm gonna miss a lot of things. I'm gonna miss the late night car rides. I'm gonna miss walking by the Corniche. That one room we had in our house filled with plants. I'm gonna miss my family, of course. And I know all that stuff isn't going, it's not going anywhere. It's still gonna be there, but I'm gonna miss having it all around me. Oh, oh my goodness, yeah. that's living like that. Oh, no. <laughs> Like this guy fall off. That's a crazy dog. Back in business. They're kind of mad. They have two people like. But after all that, do you know what the strange thing is? It's all kind of exciting. I feel like I've done a good amount with my life so far. And now is really just an opportunity to do more. New places to see, new friends to make, new people to meet whole new things to experience. Okay, there might be things I miss, there might be my family that won't be around me as often as I'm used to. And okay, it might be scary, but it's that scariness that makes it exciting. Think of it as this roller coaster right here. This, this is where I am. Till now, I've had the support around me, the steady incline, the anticipation all leading to here. It pauses. Is it scary? Yes, but that's why we ride it. The fear, the drop, and then the realization that it's all gonna be okay. And that's the strange part, isn't it? It's the scariest part, the drop, where we actually have the most fun. At the end of the day, we're still ourselves. We always have Allah, and the people that cared for us still do, and all the things that we miss are just there, waiting for us as soon as we're back. And let's be real, come Christmas time, come Christmas holiday, my literally my first break, I'll be back in Jeddah, inshallah, to see everyone. I do miss it, but I think I'm ready for this next chapter, this next step of my life. And I'm excited to bring you guys along with me on this journey. I hope you're all excited too, because I'm, I'm genuinely, you know, I'm excited for this. I hope, I hope that ending wasn't too, too cheesy. I, I can't tell if it was or not, but yeah. I think I'm ready. Okay, going to say goodbye to my family now. My mum, my sister and my brother. It kind of feels surreal. Um, that I'm actually going to say goodbye to them now and then I won't see them for quite some time. Like, this is it.